Good morning everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your What's Cracking for Tuesday the 22nd of October. I can't believe we're nearly through October, it blows me out how time goes so quickly. Um, just a few dates, run through the dates. So this Sunday coming on Merriweather in Newcastle, New South Wales. Um, I have Gypsy Caravan on the 2nd of November. 9th of November we have a psychic night in Bathurst and 23rd of November I am Orange. If you're interested in any of those dates please contact me and that date in Orange on the 23rd is my last one for the year so um, and I'll have some time off, have some weekends to myself. Um, little reminder if you've got any personal stories you want to share about your own spirituality, how you um, are started the awakening process um, share stories you want to share with other ple people please send them through um, and I will um, put them in my newsletter once I get up and running alrighty let's have a look at what's cracking oh that's a very nice card to get for today three of pentacles so the three of pentacles talks about starting something new building from the ground up building a foundation um, this is only the beginning of course but you could have been thinking about starting off a new business you could have started a new relationship but something you want to invest in here that you want to you know build something sort of more solid from we do have the fool behind that so the fool talks about a brand new start um, taking a leap of faith, sort of throwing caution to the wind and just going for something. I love this because this means for me you're jumping into a relationship or a job or something that you've perhaps has come in unexpectedly. You could have been planning this, but whatever it is, you're really starting to get into it. Okay, ten of, uh, just I said, ten of cups, seven of cups. So it could be that you have a lot of options here um, and you're not really sure about which way to go. Um, it could be that your business idea has been sitting there for a while and you're not really sure which particular angle to take. Um, but definitely having lots of options here and going forward and maybe realising that you've got lots of options. There's also a lot of passion here. Um, this could be a fire sign that you're dealing with as well. So you could be working in partnership with somebody. Um, the night of uh, ones often talks about sort of a very rushed energy so it could be that you're feeling very passionate and rushing into someone very something very running into someone <laughs> oh boy you're definitely building something for the future here with the ace of pentacles though so definitely approaching something with a lot of passion a lot of drive you know putting your ideas into action you know seeing what what you want to do and going for it perhaps having lots of ideas and sort of just jumping in and then just deciding which way to go once you get there okay oh. and then we have the tower so you could have already been through this and it may be what's starting you off in you know in your own direction here the tower is a card that comes in to um, break down beliefs about yourself that aren't true so maybe for some of you here who's starting off in a business or a new job a new venture um, new direction it could be that something's happened to make you realize that it's time now you can't wait any longer you want to start something new and you're feeling really alive with lots of ideas lots of opportunities um, could have a lot of opportunities in relationships coming to you as well but whatever it is something here is breaking down about yourself you're having a realization here that you are able to do something you wanted to do um, maybe you've put off something for a really long time but the tower helps you get rid of the things about yourself that don't really apply to you anymore so you're breaking down you know former foundations in order to build something great about yourself Okay, Five of Swords coming in. So the Five of Swords is the empty victory. It's the, you know, winning the battle but not the war. Um, walking away from something that no longer serves you. And I have a feeling here, some of you are either walking away from relationships that don't serve you and moving into something that really is beneficial, right for you. Um, but you could also be walking away from, say, um, you know, jobs that you've been, dead-end jobs that aren't really serving who you are. And picking up something and moving into a brand new era here. Whatever it is at the moment, 
you're feeling very um, very powerful because you've sort of come to a point where you've made this decision but there's also a little bit of um, fear anxiety worry here because you've done something quite perhaps quite extreme and moved into a different direction I'm here to tell you that there's lots of abundance in the way you're going though so there's money to be made here uh, resources to be bought in Whatever it is, you look like you're heading in the right direction here, even if it feels a little bit unstable at the moment. Okay, five of pentacles here. So you could have been through some sort of, you know, life-changing event or, you know, an, a, something that's made you realise that where you were wasn't taking you where you needed to be. And maybe you've been in where you were for such a long time and now you're going, hang on a moment, I don't want to be here anymore, I want to move forward. Okay, if this is to do six of cups here, so this could be to do with a relationship. It could be that you've been, you know, in relationships that haven't been serving you and now you're deciding to make your life more fulfilled. It could also be that, you know, you've had something in your heart, in your mind, some development around business ideas that you've had sitting there for a really long time and you feel like it's time to break out and do something with them. But the Six of Cups is about the nostalgia and the going back to the past. But I feel here with the Tower, it could be that you're breaking down some of those ideas you heard as a child that don't serve you where you are now. Oh, very nice. So we have the Nine of Pentacles. So can I say, if this is a money venture for you, if you're embarking on your own business here, it is very fertile. This is a great time now for doing something like this. A lot of energy around money here. And we have the Three of Swords. So the Three of Swords talks about heartbreak and pain. So there are two things here. It's sort of like this it definitely feels like past energy, especially with the Five of Pentacles here. There's a feeling here that maybe you have been fearful in the past about doing something, fearful of walking away from something. Maybe you've been clinging on to this past energy because you, it felt normal to you here with this Six of Cups and this Tower. Whatever energy you had before that might have been an energy that you felt was just normal. And now you're realising here that it's not and it's not part of who you are. So the chariot's coming in here. So you definitely have this great forward movement. Okay, and the sun. Wow. Okay, that's really beautiful. And the four of swords. Okay, so the universe telling you to make sure you don't rush things, take time on things, be thought out, don't give up either. There's a strong feeling of don't give up here, even if at times it gets a bit much for you. So I have the three of pentacles, the fool card, the seven of cups and the knight of wands. The ace of pentacles was behind that. So you're setting out on something new here, um, something that perhaps you've, you've not um, trusted in yourself, not believed in yourself about. Perhaps you've been in relationships that haven't served you for a while and now you're embarking on a new relationship that's very different, that sort of is opening your heart to new things. Um, but for some of you here, this is very much about you trusting in yourself to do the things that you want to do. So for some of you, this is starting up your own business, getting into a new endeavor here um, you're learning to leave this past pain behind maybe you've tried before and it just you you feel that it didn't work but maybe you weren't in the right place here because there's this really strong feeling here that whatever you've been doing prior to this perhaps hasn't been um, done with this sense of really getting what you're doing really understanding where you're going you have this really nice faith and trust in your journey now that you didn't have before you've built your life here on really faulty foundations something you've learned as a child so it could have been that you your beliefs around success here um, not believing yourself on how you could accomplish something but now it's like changing here and it's bringing in this beautiful energy um, of the chariot and the sun, which is sort of like really moving you forward. There's lots of financial abundance here. So whether this is in a partnership with a person in love or whether it's a partnership with someone in work, either way, 
there's this feeling that you're just opening doors to something amazing here. Okay. Leaving your past pains behind. And it's like you're not even really, you're acknowledging that they've been there. You're acknowledging that there's been past hurts and pains. But it's like you're just going, you know what? I'm just leaving it all behind and I'm just going to go out right into the sunset and see what's going on here. So you could be walking away from relationships that haven't served you or poor relationships um, and going into something more stable. Um, whatever it is, that's the general theme here. Um, I have the card of 49 coming out here. Now 49... Okay, hang on. Oh, goodness, Yvonne, what are you doing? Um, 49 is the card of the observer. Oh, I always tell people to be the observer. This is about your perspective, objectivity and neutral observation from a distance. Most people see the world through a personal lens. They closely identify with their feelings and experiences so much that they come to believe that these 